In this lesson, I will explain to you some new features of Power BI. This is the same data which we had used in the last lesson, but here I have added a new column that is PM names. PM names means project manager names. Suppose A is the project and the number of the project is 100. Manahil is working on this project. Total budget of this project is this, total actuals and the variance. Similarly, project B, C, D, these are the number of the projects. These are the PM names, just like David, Rahul, they, they are working on these projects. So this data we have to take to Power BI, which I have told you so many times. Again, I am going to explain one more time. So if you go to get data, here is the Excel because we are bringing our data from Excel file. If you are importing your data from the CSV web, which we had discussed so many times, you can click on it. Here is the Excel. So click on Excel. Excel will open where you have saved. I have saved on my USB Power BI projects. Click here and then within few minutes, you will see your data is here. I have already importing my data here that is why i'm not going to click on open but you will see that there is no data do not worry about it because we are here on the report view when you will click on the data view you will see the data is here we had again discussed these things uh, so many times why i repeat because in this way you will learn more so the data is there how you will show your data to your audience how you want to make your uh, dashboard in this lesson i will show you new features how to make the dashboard in the next lesson i will show you how to publish this dashboard online if suppose your staff uh, uh, is located in different uh, different cities or even in different countries how you can share your data online so this is not the online this is just the simple desktop so again first of all these are the visualization these are the fields or the column names it's up to you if you want you can select visualization first or the fields name first in this case i am going to select visualization so click here this is the cluster chart how you want to show this data i will say my uh, project name should be there total actuals total budget and variance right these three i want to see i will just expand this by using these handles so you can see easily so see how simple it is here is the legend total actuals this color represents total actual actuals dark blue is the total budget of 2019 and this is the variance same thing for all these are the name of the projects these are the filter button focus button focus button means if you will click here you will see your chart in whole in the complete screen if you go if you want to see the same way back to the report just click here right so these are the buttons you can play with it i have told you so many times same thing these are the all the project if you want to see total actuals of all the projects right so here i am going to click this chart click on the god chart and i say i want total actual click on the total actuals so see i will make it small in order to make room for the other chart so total of all these projects total actuals is 434k right now is the uh, budget what was the budget of all the projects so again you have to click on the blank space if you will it, this is highlighted and if you will click on the total budget this total actual will convert into total budget so no you have to make a separate chart click on the blank space in this in this example i have selected the visualization first and then the field here i am going to select the field first or the column name first which is total budget and then also you will see where is the budget sorry where is the chart because we didn't select it now select this gauge so you will see the total budget of all the projects are 796k now is the variance come to the variance part again you have to click on the blank space again i will select the field first do not worry where is the chart so you have to select then it, it will show so this is our variance right more or less these are same size and i have told you in the earlier lesson how you will make all these charts the same size okay now suppose here you want to add the project manager's name again you have to click on the blank space or white space click on the project managers 
I will make it big so you can see easily. Okay, so now all the all the projects. These are all the projects. Total actual is this. Total budget is 796, and the variance is 362. If you want to see individually, because here you can see the total budget is this, and the actual is very small, and the variance is too big. If you want to see, so when you will click on this one, see now all are highlighted. If you want to see individually, just click on the first one. So it will show you the actual is 156k, total budget was 389k and the variance is 232. But the beauty of, beauty of this lesson is here you can see who is working, who is the project manager. Raj is the project manager. Raj is working on it. So you can ask to Raj why is the variance, what is the reasons of the variance, right? If you want to see all the projects again, see these figures will change. Just click here, you will see that same thing total actuals total budget there is the negative budget if you want to see this one and you want to see who is working on it just click here and here you will see that ash is working on this project so total actual is 59k but the budget was 42k right so variance you can ask you the variance same thing one by one if you want to see you can click and it will show you but see one more thing that these colors are not compatible here is actual is blue that is fine but total budget is dark blue here or we have all this light blue so how you can change it very easy again you have to select first this go to the formatting tab and then from formatting data colors open this data colors and here is the blue so click on the blue it is blue Variance color, same thing you want to uh, make it orange. Select this, and here is the orange. So, this is orange. And these are the some more features. If you want to change the title color, background color, so you can play with it in this way, you will learn more. But we have discussed all these features in the last lesson. So, here I'm not going to explain this part. I'm going to explain how you can change the color of this project manager. So, what you have to do. Okay, first I will here go to the formatting and here is the column headers. So see our column headers is black. What color you want? I want suppose this color, make it this. If you will go here is the font, here is the font size. If you want to change the font size, it will change the font size for you. Now is the 15. Same thing here. These are the, if I will close this. And go to the values see now these are highlighted it means we can pick two colors so first one is I will say I will this one and for the background color I do not want but if you want you can make okay we can play with it too so background is yellow and then this one what color you want I say I want this color right and go down if you want change the font change the font size so it will be more clear now if you will click here so you can see easily who is working on it okay sam is working or working on it so you will say the total actuals is 18.79 k budget was 77 k so the variance is 59 what is the reason why this is the variance you can ask to sam right I hope this is clear but what is your job now you have to practice because practice makes a man perfect if you have any question you can ask me subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching in the next lesson I will show you how you will take this dashboard online and share to your clients or share to your colleagues right